Three things can happen to you in your life. You live too long and outlive your money. You spend it all if you're sick, or you die too soon and leave it to your family. We really have some bad news if you have a 401k, an IRA, or a pension plan. The IRS wants you to think that qualified plans are the surefire way to prepare for your retirement. They entice you to max out your plans by giving you tax breaks right now and allow your money to grow tax deferred over the years. But under their pretty packaging is just an empty box. Almost the worst course of action is making contributions to a qualified plan to save for your retirement. Because when you finally retire and need the money most, you're going to be taxed out of your mind. Then, when you die, the IRS will hit you with a double tax whammy. They will tax your estate when you die and then tax the leftover amount inherited by your family. On top of the tax problems, you'll also have to deal with market volatility that can crush your portfolio. Just think about 2001 and 2008. What if there had been a way to avoid portfolio crushing downturns in the market? avoid enormous tax burdens during retirement, and virtually eliminate any worries you have about outliving your money during retirement. Rest easy, because there is a way, and we want to show you later on in this DVD. Let's get that retirement monkey off your back by showing you a better way, an IRS-approved tax-friendly retirement savings vehicle that blows your qualified plan out of the water. They have been around for years. They're offered by the oldest, largest, and most financially sound financial institutions in the world and allow your money to grow tax deferred, just like your current qualified plans. But they allow your money to be dispersed at retirement with zero taxes. Think about that. Zero taxes on your money, zero taxes on your estate when you die, and zero taxes when the money is inherited. Let that soak in. Zero taxes on your money, zero taxes on your estate when you die, and zero taxes when your family inherits the money. Zero. Nada. Zilch. And here's the best part. Unlike your qualified plans, there's no risk that you will lose principal or earnings during a down market. If the market tanks like it did in 2008, your worst case scenario is no gain. But no loss either. Basically, the retirement savings vehicle being described can help you avoid outliving your money during retirement. Excited? Interested right about now? We don't blame you, because we're introducing you to the best retirement savings vehicle you've never heard of. Let's start with the IRS. They desperately want you to think that a qualified plan is the best way to grow your money for retirement. Guess what? It's not even close. I'm talking about IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, pension plans, and so forth. When compared to traditional investment accounts where you hold stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, qualified plans offer some valuable tax advantages. First, you can contribute to a qualified plan with pre-tax dollars. Second, you don't have to pay taxes on the gains every year like you do in traditional investment accounts. So your money grows tax deferred. You have more money working for you during the years leading up to retirement and delayed paying the tax until you take the money out. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, I don't see how these qualified plans are so bad. You just said they offer valuable tax advantages compared to traditional accounts. Well, yes, but that's like saying a bicycle is the best mode of transportation. Of course, a bike is far better than walking, especially if you're trying to travel outside of your neighborhood. But what if you're trying to travel across town or cross country? You might want to try a car. And what if you're trying to get overseas? Walking or riding a bike is out of the question. You'd be much better off in a jet plane. So, just to make sure you're following the analogy, a regular brokerage account is like walking, lots of tax problems. A qualified plan is like a bicycle, better than walking, but not super helpful for long trips to retirement. The retirement savings vehicle we're about to introduce later in this DVD is like having your very own luxury private jet, fueled, fully stocked, and ready to go. Yes, it's that much better. One of the real secrets of money is understanding the difference between tax-deferred and tax-free. According to the IRS, the money you have right now in qualified plans is growing tax-deferred, which means that it will be taxed at some point in the future. Guess when that point is? That's right, when you retire and need the money the most. You probably won't be working. Tax rates will probably be higher than they are today. You won't have any deductions for kids or mortgage interest if your house is paid off. 
which means that you'll be paying a huge percentage of your retirement income to the IRS in taxes, which of course reduces the amount you have left over to spend on you. Uncle Sam, he's counting on you paying more than your fair share of taxes when you retire. How brilliant is that? Behind that pointed finger is a plan to give people a tax break today, because who likes paying taxes anyway, right? Let the money grow tax deferred, so he can take a bigger chunk later. I'm all about paying my fair share, emphasis on the word fair, of taxes. But giving the IRS a bare minimum of $33,000 for every $100,000 you withdraw from your qualified plan at retirement is just plain ridiculous and almost criminal. Look, you've paid taxes and you will continue to pay taxes for your entire working career. Let's keep the government's hands out of our wallets during retirement, okay? Do you realize that $33,000 for every $100,000 you withdraw isn't a worst case scenario either? With the probability that tax rates will rise, it's likely a real-world best-case scenario. Any right-thinking person can see that the tax rate of 40 or 50 percent isn't out of the question 15 or 20 years down the road. Why don't we circle back to that so-called jet plane of retirement savings vehicles? You know, the one that blows your qualified plan and regular investment account out of the water? Before we get into the nitty-gritty about exactly what it is, Let's talk about the perks of traveling in your luxury private jet. First, tax deferred accumulation. Year after year, your money grows, tax deferred just like a qualified plan and way better than your regular investment account. Compound interest can then work its magic, which allows your money to grow bigger and faster. Do we need to have a discussion about compound interest? If you're not familiar, just go to Google and type compound interest the most powerful force in the universe, and find out about the greatness of compound interest. Second, tax-free distribution. Here's where your current qualified plan starts to really look unattractive. When you trade in that bicycle for the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles, your money not only grows tax-deferred, but you can also distribute the money tax-free. That means on the same $100,000 distribution, you keep all of it, regardless of the current tax rate. 30% tax rate? You won't care. You'll pay no taxes. 40 or 50% tax rate? Let everyone else worry about that. Your money can be used tax-free. $100,000 means $100,000 to spend, not $67,000 or less. Which do you prefer? Third, tax-free wealth transfer. With a qualified plan and a regular brokerage account, your money will likely be taxed twice when you pass away. Great for the IRS, horrible for your family. The jet plane of retirement savings vehicles lands smoothly here too. Transfer tax rules are fairly complicated and there are some limitations and exceptions. Ask a qualified professional to discuss your situation with you. Fourth, no risk of market loss. Remember when the stock market lost over half its value and your investment portfolio probably lost half or more of its value in less than 18 months starting in October 2007? Did you start having nightmares about never being able to retire? Being 80 years old and still working part-time saying, welcome to Walmart, or would you like to supersize that just to keep food on the table? Your qualified plan has no way to protect you from that kind of market volatility and downside losses. Ouch! Not true with the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles. The value in the account never loses altitude. When structured properly, there's no chance it will lose any principal or earnings. Not a dime. Not a penny. Nothing. Zero. Not a zilch. If you'd been on board with this in October 2007, your portfolio would probably look a whole lot better right now. I'll explain why and how in just a minute. Fifth, outliving your money during retirement. Every survey tells us that the fear of outliving their money is number one with baby boomers. And if you ask me, that fear should strike a chord with everyone that has a qualified plan. If you save $1 million and retire at age 65, that's pretty good if you only plan on living until you're about 70 or 75 and don't have any significant medical issues. 
But how do you stretch a million dollars or whatever amount you have saved for 15, 20, or 30 years, especially given the increase in the cost of living and the likelihood of needing specialized care if you do end up living into your late 80s or 90s? Not to worry if you ride the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles. When structured and funded properly, it'll keep on paying and paying and paying all through your 70s, 80s, 90s, and even beyond that if you're lucky enough to hit 100. You're more likely to hit 100 if you aren't stressed out over money. Time to get on board. And that's not everything. There's more than just tax advantages. We'll cover those in just a minute. But first, why don't we clear up that question I know you have. What's the catch? Okay. This all sounds great, it all makes a lot of sense, and I'm interested. But what's the catch? We all know that anything that sounds too good to be true probably is. I hear you. Between Enron, Bernie Madoff, and the great stock market meltdowns of the 2000s, now that's enough to make any rational person nervous. So a healthy dose of cynicism, skepticism, or both is not only understandable, it's just plain smart. But those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. And those who do not learn the truth about qualified plans are doomed to fall behind. Back to that catch you're wondering about. And trust me, it's more like six seconds of turbulence on your six-hour flight to retirement on your personal jet plane than a catch. Remember, different isn't always better, but better is always different. Just because you've never heard of this before doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Doesn't mean that hundreds of thousands of people aren't already using it. And doesn't mean that all of the advantages that we've talked about so far aren't absolutely real and just waiting for you. So here's the six seconds of turbulence. Per the IRS's rules, you must use after-tax dollars to pay for your luxury jet plane. The IRS won't let you deduct the amount of the contribution to your qualified plan from this year's taxes like you're used to doing. You have to fund your flight with after-tax dollars. That means if you were to contribute $6,000 this year to an IRA versus the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles, you'd in reality pay an extra $2,000 in taxes this year, assuming a 33% tax bracket. If you're in a lower tax bracket, naturally your tax savings would be less. That sounds like a drawback, right? Well, actually, no. To understand why funding with after-tax dollars instead of before-tax dollars like you would have with a qualified plan is not a drawback, you just need to understand the alternatives. Think about this. If you were a farmer, would you rather pay taxes on the small sack of seeds when you purchase them in the spring? Or would you rather pay taxes on your entire harvest when you sell it in the fall? Do the math. If a farmer bought $1,000 worth of seeds and was taxed at 8%, he'd pay 80 bucks. But if the farmer planted those seeds and paid the same 8% on a $50,000 harvest, he'd pay $4,000 in taxes. 80 versus 4,000. That's 50 times the amount of taxes paid. The same rationale applies to your retirement savings. In fact, the amount of money you save on upfront taxes with a qualified plan Remember, you'd save $2,000 in taxes by making a $6,000 contribution into a qualified plan, okay? Will almost certainly be dwarfed to the taxes you'd pay at retirement, to the tune of 10 times, at least. Here's why. If your $6,000 grows to $100,000 over the course of the next 30 years, remember the magic of compound interest? This is very reasonable you'll pay at least $33,000 in taxes on the harvest. We already talked about this earlier. That's $33,000 straight to the IRS, right when you need it the most. Would you rather pay $2,000 in taxes today or at least $33,000 in taxes later? It's as simple as the seed or the harvest. I've said it once and I'll say it again. No wonder the IRS loves qualified plans so much. It's their way of protecting Uncle Sam's financial future. Now that you know about some of the perks, let's go ahead and tour the rest of the luxury jet plane of retirement savings vehicles. Do me a favor and hear me out before jumping to any conclusions. Right up front, it might sound a little boring at first. That's because it's a life insurance product called Indexed Universal Life, or IUL for short. Stay with me. Don't be fooled by any of the stereotypes of what you may think an IUL is. 
This is not your father's life insurance. IUL is different than any kind of whole life or variable life or universal life plan that you may have heard about or purchased in the past. Hopefully the tax advantages and principal protection advantages we've told you about are clear enough and big enough to keep you interested. But you also need to know that the IUL, when structured and funded properly, blows your regular investment account or qualified plan out of the water. And any other kind of retirement savings vehicle in every comparison category that really matters, including growth potential, risk avoidance, liquidity of funds, flexibility of contributions, flexibility of distributions, longevity of distributions, and fees. Everything. Listen, insurance companies by law and by track record are extraordinarily conservative. Yeah, I know that AIG had some trouble, and you might be thinking that all insurance companies are going bust. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Life insurance companies that offer IULs have massive, massive cash reserves. One company, as an example, had operating revenues in 2011 of $3 billion, cash reserves of almost $4 billion, and total assets of $23 billion. There's a reason why people think of life insurance companies as old, stodgy, conservative curmudgeons. Because they are. Their stodgy curmudgeonness is also a part of the reason you've never heard of an IUL before. Life insurance companies thrive with things like risk management, actuarial tables, and other boring life insurance stuff. But they don't know squat about communication. If you need a cure for insomnia, go online right now and read their brochures. They're just plain boring and hard to understand. And that's just the table of contents. But that doesn't mean that indexed universal life is anything less than outstanding for creating wealth. The IUL, Indexed Universal Life, gets its name because it's indexed to the S&P 500, which simply means that it's linked to the growth of the S&P 500, which has averaged over 9% per year for the last 27 years, including all the crummy years in the 1980s, the dot-com bust, right after 9-11, and 2007 and 8. Remember that? And the next best part. Here's what makes the IUL so attractive as a retirement savings vehicle. Ready for it? The reason the IUL accounts won't lose value is because the lowest guaranteed return is 0%. In technical terms, they have a floor of 0%. That's right, they can't lose money. If the stock market drops, plummets, loses for the year, your IUL contract doesn't take a big hit. It just stays right where it is. An IUL participates and locks in the gains during market up years, but doesn't participate in market down years. Take that 401k, an IRA, you can't even come close to touching that. Everyone knows that investment losses are portfolio killers because you have to double up just to get back to where you were. You know, if you lose 50%, you need to make 100% to get even. You eliminate that risk with the IUL, since your floor or minimum return is 0% annual growth. No loss of principal or interest. Compare that to the devastating 38% loss of the S&P 500 in 2008. If you were indexing your IRA against the S&P 500 and therefore did not have the 0% floor like you would with an IUL contract, if you had a $1 million portfolio on January 1st of 2008, you would have ended the year with just $620,000. Ouch! Even with the big bounce back year of 2009, where the S&P returned 23.4%, the $620,000 you had left after getting killed in 2008 would have only grown to a little more than $765,000, still deep in the hole, not with an IUL. The other part of the catch is, the IUL offers the peace of mind of the account value protecting 0% floor. Zero is your hero. But it does also cap the gains on the upside. That means when the market has a huge growth year, the IUL growth will be capped at somewhere in the 12 to 15% range, depending on the carrier and the contract. Don't bail out on me now. Trust me, this is not a big deal. In fact, quite the opposite. You've probably figured out by now that huge gain years almost always follow what? You got it. 
huge loss years. 2003, for instance, was great, 26.38% gain in the S&P 500. But it followed three consecutive years, 2000, 2001, and 2002, of negative returns, 10.14, 13.04, and 23.37% respectively, negative, all three years. Let's let the numbers do the talking. If you had $1 million in your IRA on January 1st, 2000, it would have fallen to approximately $899,000 at the end of the first year, then continued to fall to just over $781,000 at the end of 2001, and then plummeted to a measly $599,000 at the end of 2002. That same $1 million in a loss-protected IUL would have retained its worth at $1 million at the end of 2000, even though the market was down, remember? Still been worth $1 million at the end of 2001. And guess what? Still worth $1 million after 2002, even though the market got hammered. That's three consecutive down years and $401,000 in avoided losses. Which is more? Now, let's say you were with an IUL carrier in 2003 that had a 13% cap. Remember the big catch? It has a cap. Your $1 million would have grown to $1.13 million. It grew. Meanwhile, the qualified plan portfolio that tanked from $1 million down to just $599,000 would have gotten the full benefit of the 26.3% market gain, not the capped 13% like our IUL contract. Yay! But let me ask you this. Would you rather add 13% to $1 million or 26.38% to $599,000? 26% added to $599,000 only brings the account up to about $756,000. Again, which is more? This is a no-brainer. At the end of the four-year cycle, you would have been ahead by over $350,000 with an IUL. This is real money in a worst-case scenario. The only way a qualified plan could possibly do better is if the S&P were to grow by over 15% per year for 5 or 10 consecutive years, with no negative years. Do you really think that's going to happen? And even in the one in a million chance that it did, get ready to pay the IRS when you retire. Throwing all these numbers around can really start to be a bit overwhelming, but it is critical for you to understand so you can avoid getting ruined financially when you retire. Don't hesitate to watch any part of the DVD again. We need to continue with the examples just a little bit further. We stopped our examples at the end of 2003. Remember, the IUL account that started with $1 million had weathered the storm and had grown to $1.13 million. The IRA account hadn't done so well. It had managed to eke back to $756,000, but only after a really strong 2003. Now, let's take a look at what happened in 2004, 5, 6, and 7. The S&P gained in this order, 8.99, 3, 13.62, and 3.53 in those four years. Your IUL account, since it's indexed to the S&P 500, and since three of the year's gains were between the 0% floor and the 13% cap, your IUL would have received all of those same gains, 8.99, 3, and 3.53%, 3 and received 13% of the 13.62% from 2006. That would take your $1.13 million account right to just shy of $1.5 million by the end of 2007. Pretty good, right? Then, when the S&P got pummeled by a 38.49% loss in 2008, since the lowest return your IUL account can get is a floor of 0%, guess what? The IUL account would have held steady at $1.5 million. No loss. Nice, isn't it? On the other hand, the IRA account would have grown from $756,000 to around $998,000 during those four years. Still down since 2000, just in time to get crushed down to $614,000 at the end of 2008. What would you rather have going into 2009? $614,000 or $1.5 million? Make no mistake, this luxury jet plane isn't for the ultra-conservative. It's a luxury jet plane for the ultra-intelligent. If you think market caps of 12 to 15% are a poor trade-off for a contractual guarantee of a 0% floor, then you need to have your head examined. 
Naturally, past performance isn't an indicator of future results, but it's safe to say the market is going to have up years and down years. Protecting yourself from huge losses is one of the primary advantages of the IUL. It's impossible to overstate how superior the IUL is compared to your qualified plan. It's not even close. You've already had a crash course in IUL tax advantages. They're clear and evident. Avoiding market risk is huge, and it favors the IUL. By how much does it favor? By a country mile. Remember, as we mentioned earlier, indexed universal life is, remember, life insurance. What that means is, if you die the day after you fund an IUL policy, or any time thereafter, your heirs will receive an income tax-free death benefit. Additionally, while you're alive, the IUL has benefits in the event of a critical, chronic, or terminal illness. The amount of the benefit depends on the size and structure of your policy. But think about your qualified plan and brokerage accounts for just a minute. How much do they pay in insurance benefits if you die or have an illness? Oh yeah, nothing, zero, nada, zilch, because they're not insurance. Are you starting to understand why IUL is the best retirement savings vehicle you've never heard of? There's another reason why you've probably never heard of an IUL before. We've already told you one of the main reasons was that stodgy old insurance companies have horrific communication skills. But there's actually a bigger reason, which is financial advisors almost never talk about IUL. Why is that? Simple math. Only licensed insurance agents can legally sell you an IUL, and most licensed money managers and brokers are not licensed to sell insurance. In other words, the guy who sells you your IRA can't, by law, sell you an indexed universal life policy. And if he can't sell it, he can't make any money on it. That's it. Your financial planner's motivation is to get you signed up for an IRA or a 401k and then make money on you for life or as long as you remain his client. They don't care about your future tax burden. Why should they? Seriously, call your investment advisor on the phone right now and ask about an IUL. Chances are 99% he or she has never even heard of it, and if they have, they have zero working knowledge of how or why it works. How would they know? They don't know insurance products. They like to think they have the corner on the market of helping people save enough money to retire, but they don't. They're selling skateboards, bicycles, or roller skates and pretending like the big shiny private jet doesn't even exist. When you separate fact from fiction, reality is the IUL is the most comprehensive way to plan for, save for, and protect your future financial security. For most people, and in most situations, it simply cannot be beat for tax advantages, safety, growth potential, liquidity, flexibility, and protection. One more thing, and then we'll let you get back to the licensed insurance professional who gave you this DVD. Last but not least, let's talk about how the IUL works. It is a life insurance policy. You make monthly or annual premium contributions into your account. You can even contribute large lump sums of money to jumpstart the savings potential. You'll need to work with your advisor to determine the optimal amount for your situation. It'll vary depending on how many years you have left until retirement, your financial goals for retirement, and your current financial situation. The money you contribute to an IUL, as we've discussed, will grow on a tax-deferred basis, and unlike a qualified plan, you may access your money anytime, at any age, for any reason you want or need it, without incurring income tax or tax penalties. That's called real flexibility. When you do pass away, the balance of the account will be paid to your beneficiaries income tax-free in the form of a death benefit just like with any other life insurance policy. It's time to unfriend old plans, because the IUL really does offer the absolute best of all possible scenarios. It's safe from loss. It gives you flexible access to your money at any time for any reason. It's tax-friendly and provides protection. All right, now that you've toured the luxury jet plane, now that you know the luxury jet plane of retirement savings vehicles is available to you, the next step is yours. All you need to do is meet with the licensed insurance professional who gave you this DVD and discuss your specific situation. He or she will answer all of your questions. You may want to consider watching this DVD again. 
This time, write down any notes or questions you may have. Like anything else worthwhile, there are plenty of details to be covered, and there is a bit of a learning curve. But whatever you do, don't do nothing. You know the old saying, people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. You know what we mean. You intend to make the call and learn more, but you get too busy with everyday life. And when you look up, a couple of weeks, a few months, or even years have passed, and you haven't done anything and you've fallen behind. Set that appointment now. Meet with the insurance professional who gave you this DVD and take a closer look at the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles. Index Universal Life. You'll be glad you did.